welcome to pre-math in this video we are going to solve this given system of two equations x power 3 plus 12 x y square equal to 679 and the second equation is 9 x square y plus 12 y cube equals to 978 in other words we are going to find the value of x and y variables please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two and now let's go ahead and focus on our equation two and here's our equation two and we can see that uh, this equation is divisible by three across the board so let me go ahead and divide across the board by three now let's go ahead and reduce these uh, fractions so that is going to give us three x square y plus four uh, y power three equal to 326 and now let's go ahead and manipulate this equation we know this is y power 3 we can make this 4 as uh, 2 power 3 if we multiply this one by 2 so let's go ahead and multiply across the board by 2 so let me go ahead and multiply by 2 across the board both sides of this equation so once we multiply that is going to give us 6x square y plus 8 y power 3 equal to 652 let me call this equation number 3 and here's our next step let's focus on these equations 1 and 3 and here are our equations 1 and 3 now let's add these two equations so let me just go ahead and write down x power 3 plus 12 x y square plus 6 x square y plus 8 y power 3 equals to when we add the right hand side that is going to give us 13 31 and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole cube so we are going to manipulate this left hand side so we can use this identity so the left hand side could be written as x power 3 plus 3 times 4 x y square plus uh, once again we're going to factor out 3 outside so that's going to give us 2x square y plus uh, this 8 is same as 2 power 3 so this could be written as 2y whole power 3 equals to on the right hand side 13 31 is equal to 11 power 3 if we multiply 11 3 times we are going to get 13 31 and now in this next step we can see that our a equals to x and b equals to 2y so therefore our left hand side is going to become simply x plus 2y whole power 3 equals to 11 power 3 and now we can see that both of these sides of this equation our exponents are same so therefore we can equate their basis so therefore this is going to give us x plus 2y equals to 11 let me call this our equation number 4 and here's our next step let's focus on these equations 1 and 3 once again and this time we are going to subtract equation 3 from equation 1 let's go ahead and subtract it let me go ahead and change their sign these positive become negative sign so we can write this one as x power 3 plus 12 x y square and then minus 6 x square y minus 8 y power 3 
equals to on the right hand side when we subtract it's going to give us 27 and now let's recall this cubic identity a minus b whole power 3 we are going to manipulate this left hand side so that we can apply this cubic identity so before we manipulate this left hand side let me go ahead and switch these two uh, terms we're gonna turn them around so let's go ahead and rearrange them i can write x power 3 minus 6x square y then plus 12x y square minus 8y power 3 equals to 27 and now in this next step negative 6x square y could be written as this one we just broke it down likewise 12x y square i just broke them down as well and finally negative 8x y power 3 could be written as 2y whole power 3 and now on the right hand side this 27 could be written as 3 power 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is going to give us 27 and in this next step this 4y square could be written as 2y whole square the rest is same and now we can see that our if we put a equals to x and b equals to 2y then our left hand side is going to become simply x minus 2y whole power 3 equals to 3 power 3 and now once again our exponents are same so we can equate our basis so therefore we can write this one as x minus 2y equals to 3. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these equations 4 and 5 now. And here are our equations 4 and 5. And now we are going to solve these system of two equations with two variables by using this elimination method now let's add equations 4 and 5 now when we add this positive 2y and negative 2y they are gone so we are going to get 2x equals to 14 on the right hand side and now if we divide both sides by 2 our x value turns out to be simply 7 and now let's put x equal to 7 value in this equation 4 and here's our equation 4 I'm going to replace this x by 7 so therefore we can write this one 7 plus 2y equals to 11 and now let's subtract 7 from both sides they are gone so we simply ended up with 2y equals to 4 and now let's divide both sides by 2 so our y value turns out to simply 2 so thus our solution to this given system of equations turns out to be x equal to 7 and y equals to 2 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye